Hello, how are you doing? Today we're going to make this, as you can see, we've got here some stuffed courgettes, zucchini or kusa. This is kusa mashi. It's got a lovely kind of tomato broth on it. It's really quite easy and delicious. Welcome back to How to Cook Great. So we're going to start off with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven courgettes, zucchini or locally known to me as kusa. Now you can see that these are quite a stubby type zucchini and are light green. I think in Europe and in America you get the much sort of bigger ones and they're dark green. Anyway, you can use those or you can use these if you can find them. What we're going to do is give them a wash. We're going to top and tell them and then here I've got an apple corer and we're going to get in and take the middle out like so. So we empty out the middle. So you can see that I've top toweled and hollowed them out. Now, if you haven't got an apple corer, which is really simple to use, you can do it with a knife, but it's just a little bit more tricky. So our zucchini, our kusa, or our courgettes are ready. So we've got two cups of cooked basmati rice, that's cold. One cup of chopped flat leaf parsley. One cup of tomatoes, cut nice and small. And then here I've got one teaspoon of a seven spice, Middle Eastern spice called Bakhrat. Now, if you don't have that, by the way, that, that's what it looks like. You might better get it in some shops near you. If you don't have it, you can just add in some cumin or something like that. Now, people will often put in this dish pine nuts or almond slivers, things like that. But I, I'm just opting out of that today. I don't want the nuts in there. I'm just going to go for these guys. Very simply, we're going to give that a mix. Add a little bit of salt and pepper. Okay, mixing bowl. Rice is in. Let's just season that with some salt and some black pepper. Be fairly generous with it. We're going to add in that seven spice. And like I say, you could try and find that or just use something like cumin, a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of cardamom, maybe like that. We're going to add the one cup of parsley. Now some people will also put mint in this or known as nana or dill. You can do a mix of all three if you wanted to. That's it, very simple. I'm going to give that a mix. Okay, job done. Now we're going to stuff that inside our kusa or zucchini. Okay, so we've got our zucchini kusa or whatever you want to call it today. I'm using a teaspoon here because that tablespoon was way too big. So I'm just holding it at the bottom and I'm going to just fill it as much as I can. I'm probably going to get my fingers involved with this as well, but yeah, you want to kind of fill it fairly sort of tightly packed. Let me do those and then I'll be back. Okay, there you go. So they're nicely stuffed, firmly packed as much as you can. And I've actually got a little bit of excess over, so I'm going to do some more. Let's move on now to make the broth for this. So this is very simple. We've got one tablespoon of garlic, one cup of onions, 135 grams of a tomato puree. So in there, I've got three tablespoons of olive oil. We're going to add one tablespoon of chopped garlic and the one cup of chopped onions. And as you can see, the onions are cut really, really small. While I'm here, I'm going to add some salt. I'm going to add black pepper. And if you want, you can get some more of that seven spice in order baharat inside or some cumin or something else like that. I'm keeping it really nice and simple. The heat's on medium. I've just put that on. We're going to go just for three minutes. Beautiful. We're now going to go in with that 135 grams or that little kind of tetra pack of tomato puree. And we're going to cook this out for about another three minutes. Now, we're also going to add some stock to this to make it quite thin. And then we're going to add our kusa inside. But first, let's cook this out for a few minutes. Fabulous. Okay, I've got this stock here. Now, you can use, I'm using vegetable stock. You can use chicken stock or something if you want. There's about a pint or just over a pint, actually, I think there. Just going to let that go for two minutes. Okay, now I've got the heat on simmer now, really nice and low. We've got this broth here. Now, some people will make this much, much more watery than this, but I like it like that. 
Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to grab the stuffed zucchini, kusa, or courgette, whatever you would like to call that. We're going to get these in, and then we're going to get a lid on it, and we're going to let it go for about eight or nine minutes. Okay, look, we're not ready, but what I am going to do is just gently roll them over so they get a nice even cooking. So we're about halfway through, or just under halfway through. Beautiful. Okay, off goes the heat. Off comes the lid. Let's get some steam out of there for you. Now, just take a knife and just put it in. Now, they're good for me. You can make them softer if you want, but that is great for me. Very simply, we're going to get that on a plate. Okay, and there you go. Beautiful. Really delicious, actually. I hope you enjoy that. Keep safe, keep well. I'll see you soon. Lots of love.